Join us on a delightful adventure to E.T. Cat, where we'll spill the tea on their amazing brews and spill some secrets on the perfect Mother's Day gift, their irresistible self-care set. Hi, I'm Erica Moore, the founder of Etiquette Tea. I started Etiquette over 15 years ago now, and before that I was a litigation lawyer in London. So at Etiquette, we are a specialty tea company based in Edinburgh, but we supply tea all over the world. And we're all about encouraging people to use that three minutes while their tea's brewing to pause for a moment so that they can rebalance and thrive and ultimately get a little bit more out of their everyday. Cool, so this is our lovely tea station with a little guy wan and two little tasting cups um, with a little tea mat as well so you can um, yeah, make some, just set your scene so you can have a little little moment and the tray's got a little drip tray underneath so you can pour your water away um, and obviously our little cat tea pet as well for good luck, pour off any excess water over. So I'm going to brew some sea buckthorn blend today. So sea buckthorn berries are, they, these are locally foraged from all around East Lothian, mainly the Gullin area, so near Edinburgh, and they are really high in vitamin C. Um, so they're quite an unusual taste on their own, so we've blended it with some cranberries and apples and a little bit of hibiscus. So I'm just going to go ahead and brew it in the gaiwan using the amazing wee kit. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of water in the bottom of the cup just to heat it up and this is also a good way so this is a way to really slow down and drink your tea to have a little moment so there's lots of ways you can brew tea you can make it really quickly easiest way is just with a, an infuser in your mug or a self-filled tea bag but if you've got a spare few minutes then I highly recommend just creating a little moment for yourself with a little tea board or um, even just a little mat, just you can use whatever you've got at home, just keep it really, really simple. So I'm just heating up my brewing equipment first of all. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of the sea buckthorn blend. So again, this holds about 100 millilitres of water. So if you were doing this at home, you could use it and do it in a mug if you don't have a gaiwan. I'm going to pour my boiling water on because it's a fruit infusion. You can see it's going red already with the, the lovely hibiscus. And I'm just going to let that brew just for 50 seconds or so. It doesn't need very much because it's um, only got about 100 ml of water. So if you were doing it in your mug and filling it full, you'd want to let it brew for at least three minutes, but probably longer if you can, so you really get the most out of that fruit infusion. Yeah, it doesn't need very much. And always we encourage people to look at the, the dry leaf, first of all, and also the smell, so you get the aroma very clearly, very strong on this. And so the question there, would you always warm up your uh, tea cups? Or? You don't have to, no. Um, depends what tea you're doing. So if you've got a really um, lovely, expensive single estate tea, and it's cold, it's winter, then it's a good idea to warm up your cup just to keep the temperature. Um, but I like to do it as a little ritual when I'm brewing it like this, just because it allows me to just ground myself first of all and remember to breathe. And it's all about trying to just really do one thing at a time um, and focus on what you're doing, staying present, staying in the moment. But even if it's only for the three minutes that you're brewing your tea, it can be very, very beneficial. And then you can just go ahead and pour either straight into your cup or you can um, pour into a little fairness jug. There we go. And then the best bit, you get to sip. Yeah, you've got a real balance of flavours in, in that blend. And you can find this one in our self-care box as well, um, which has got lots of different recipe ideas. So the, it comes with um, some sachets for all the different teas and then suggested recipes. 
So for the sea buckthorn, it comes with a breakfast smoothie um, recipe guide. And then we've got chai tea as well, it shows you how to make a lip balm. So just simple ingredients that you can um, get quite easily and shows you how to make a lip balm. So these are ones that um, I came up with um, with my, it was my homeschooling projects during uh, lockdown. <laughs> um, so yeah, the kids were yeah, quite interested to sort of see what they could do with it. Um, so yeah, self-care boxes is really popular and a good way to think about tea in a different way as well and to use it as part of your self-care routine. What well, this tea would you run us through the flavour profile? So it's quite tart. Um, so sea buckthorn on its own is it's very sort of it's got that nami quality to it. There's quite a lot going on. So we've blended it with the cranberries and apples just to give it that little sort of sweet balance as well. Um, and then a little bit of hibiscus just yeah, takes the, the tartness off the end of it. So yeah. It's a really refreshing, really crisp drink. And it works really good hot or cold. So you can brew it either, you can ice it down or you can brew it straight into cold water and just leave it for at least three hours um, or overnight if you can. And then just, yeah, great way if you're going out on a, going to the gym, go for a run or whatever, just drink it instead of water. I generally don't drink plain water. I always get my hydration through tea. So this is a particularly good one. Could it be like a fresh summer drink? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you can mix it with different different ingredients as well, make mocktails, add fresh fruit, mints, sparkling water. Yeah, you can do loads of things with it. Even in a, a wine glass as well, if you cold brew it, um, yeah, in a wine glass, it's quite nice. And you get, when you're cold, cold brewing a tea as, a, as opposed to hot brewing, the chemicals um, react differently, so you get different flavour profiles coming through. So lots of the more nuanced, softer flavours um, come through and less of the astringent bitter flavours and um, particularly with tea, tea tea so this is a fruit infusion so nothing to do with the tea plant at all tip five tip five